Hey everybody, happy Monday. This is Dr. Sierra and we're gonna continue with our healthy swap. And today we're gonna talk about a compound called sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, this is commonly hidden in soaps, shampoos, uh, dental products, bath cleaners. Um, it's basically a food additive too, which is something I learned when I was doing research for this video today. Um, often in some of those cartons of eggs that you might buy or in marshmallows and sometimes it's in beverages. Um, it's pretty highly unregulated. Uh, FDA doesn't regulate our foods as closely as they should, but one of the things is if it's below a certain concentration, then they don't have to mark that it's in the label. And that's something that's concerning because the biggest thing with SLS is, okay, maybe use it here and there, maybe once in a while, not a big deal. But this is a compound that actually can build up within your system. Um, it's known to be a skin and eye irritant. It can cause organ toxicity because it basically, again, it builds up in your system. It gets lodged in your kidneys and your liver and so forth. Um, it also causes developmental and reproductive toxicity and so forth. So it's something you want to avoid if you're pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant. And also it can affect your nervous system. Um, again, I'm a chiropractor, so I work on the nervous system. So, um, you know, I'm always trying to learn new ways to avoid toxicity, but also trying to keep my family healthy. So when you're shopping for those products um, in the store, so oftentimes we're looking at soaps and shampoos, that foaming agent. So if you really, if you remember those herbal essence commercials from the 90s, that's really what the foaming was in that commercial where the girl didn't want to go out to dinner. She wanted to wash her hair. Um, but that foaming that was happening, that's caused by SLS. And the scary thing is it has many, many other names and I'll post those names in the comment section so you can look out for those as well. But so you want to start watching for that on the labels. Um, when you're looking at soaps and shampoos, sometimes they might not even post all the ingredients on there because that's not something that they have to do. In all cases, they can say it's some kind of a proprietary blend or something like that. Um, but if they're not willing to do that, then it's definitely not a product that I would buy. Um, so if you're looking to change out some of those products, or you go home and you're taking a shower, or you look at the back of your toothpaste, and you're like, man, I, I really was surprised to see it in there. I thought I was buying a healthy product. Shoot me a message, comment on this video, um, like this video if you're learning a lot this month with how to hot, healthy swap, so swap out things in your home. And um, I can help you find alternatives. Um, I do read the labels. I try to buy things. Um, again, I, I do look for bargains, but I also look for things that are healthy because one of the problems with some of the compounds that don't have SLS or don't have parabands and things like that is they can get really pricey. And that adds up over time when you're swapping all of these things out, especially if you're going to be doing it over the next month or say over the summer. So so shoot me a message I can let you know how I find my bargains I do get um, order some stuff online but they have a lot of great deals Target is carrying more and more um, of the healthy products so again that's our healthy swap for today um, it's Monday so go home check out those labels send me a message if you have questions about it or comment here on this I will post the other names for SLS in the comments so you know what to watch out for and I hope you're enjoying this series don't forget at the end of the month make sure you're following my page because at the end of the month one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to you know how to swap out some of these things but how to make super easy alternatives um, yourself at home um, that don't take a lot of time and don't take a lot of money I'll let you know what's worth the time and what's not um, so that'll be a live video that I'll do and um, show you guys what's going on again I'm Dr. Sierra I hope you guys have a great Monday bye